Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves and this is uh, episode number 13 I guess so the previous one was episode 12 I might have been a little bit off on my guess but the right answer as always is it is the episode after the previous episode so let's go ahead and get into this light cruiser engagement I'm confident that we will be victorious either we will run away from a heavy cruiser or we will defeat their light cruiser now I didn't look and see what kind of units Germany has in the Caribbean. Caribbean or Caribbean? I, I guess it's pick your choice. I don't... I've heard both ways and I think they actually both might be correct. Alright, so let's find out what we're fighting. Let's get this uh, speed up quite a bit. We might need to... I just want the high speed so that if we have to run away, we're already going that fast. Now, wind is working to our advantage if we can just stay cutting northeast, then the wind, oh, put that wrong, 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 totally wrong. <laughs> That's 100% inverse. So let's go down so that we can try to put the wind uh, against, if we can get them on the north side of us, the wind will be affecting them worse. This is slow enough that it, oh, it's a battleship. That means it's probably a heavy cruiser and not a battleship. Hopefully we're just really, really off, but yeah, we might not be. Okay, we've identified it. Uh, two eight inch, 10 six inch, hmm. Five and a half inch belt armor. I don't think there's any good reason to fight this. We could, we could, but it's just really pushing our luck. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Let's just go ahead and retreat. So, blah, blah, blah. since they're only a 21 knot ship, this won't be very hard. Where do we want to retreat to? I guess we'll go north. Kind of peel all the way back around to San Juan, but it's fine. All right, she's pretending that she can pursue us. That will end soon. Yay. Yay, battle. Okay, let's go faster. Okay, good. She's gone. Head towards San Juan. Let's go to cruise speed. And go ultra fast. Since the Germans don't have any colonies in here, I don't know where they're actually going to head once they don't see me anymore. Okay, good. So that was a quick, easy scenario. Let's end. Oh, I didn't even check. So sorry. I didn't even check to make sure that this was in the right position and it, it, it was not at all in the right position. <laughs> but that's okay. Well, we, you made deal with it. You dealt with it nicely. You kind audience of you. All right, now we can end. Now that I fixed it for the last unimportant seconds of the battle. Okay, so they sank two of our ships, which is, we're off to a bad start. <laughs> Not that I'm worried. We should be able to come back and be successful as soon as we actually get some of these cruisers finished. Now, because we're at war, we have increased our budgets. So let's go ahead and resume construction of all the things. This is a very narrow window. I'm not sure why these things happen. It's strange. Okay, so the, who is here? Just a heavy cruiser? Yes. And nothing there. And they still have two battleships there. Are our battleships in any better shape? We have a few in good now. Should we do it? Should we just throw caution to the wind and send my troops in? Who else is on the East Coast? Let's kind of figure out who's on the East Coast and see who we could take with us. We could take the Chattanooga and... Well, we can't take those, those, but we can take these. What about four? Let's take three destroy. No, four. Let's take five. Let's just take the whole batch. If they sink, no big deal, right? We have more destroyers than we need because we were forced to build 12 anyway. I mean, with that logic, why don't we just take six? Two battleships, a light cruiser, and six destroyers. And throw them all into Northern Europe. Yeah, let's do it. I'm not sure if I would do this if it wasn't a let's play, but because I think, you know, you got to play to the audience a little bit. 
let's be a little bit crazy. That means that the two in the Caribbean, I want one to move into the East Coast just to kind of spread the battleship level around. This guy's still heading over there. We have one raiding in the Caribbean, two in Southeast Asia, and I think I'm not able to send anybody to raiding because we don't have, we need enough tonnage to defend. And everyone else is still moving around. I'm not gonna pay attention to anything quite yet. We have enough patrols, so let's just end the turn and see what happens. Oh, torpedoes do more damage. That might be very important on this very turn. So that, that, they started off sinking our ships, which means we didn't sink any of theirs. Three, four total. Colsta raid, okay, so this is obviously us raiding them, which is nice. The battle size says two. I don't know what battle size means. Does this mean two ships only? But they don't have any, where did their battleships go? Let's accept. Okay, so our goal is to sink one ships, any ship. That's our only goal. Interesting, Only we only have one cruiser. Huh. I don't even know which place I'm supposed to be raiding. Does it, uh, is there like an objective marker? Can I look at the objectives here? Um, objectives. Yes, but can you tell me where? Where is my objective? Is this it? Does this red dot mean that's the objective? Yes, a bullseye. I'm going to assume that a bullseye means the target. Let's go ahead and speed up and uh, head towards the target then. And we have less than 50% fuel remaining. I hope that doesn't turn out to be something concerning. It's gonna take us quite a while to get over there. And all we need to do, it says, is sink any one ship. And they only have destroyers in this area. By the way, I did drag like this. That doesn't actually select. What it does is it zooms the window to the box you've selected. So if we want like this, well, it zooms to that box. And we should make sure we come in from the east side so that the wind is in our face so that the smoke goes behind us. Yeah, that's definitely the bullseye coming up when I select it. And yes, I only have one ship. Okay. Chattanooga. Let's go, Chattanooga. Let's speed this up a bit. So I think we'll steam in from the east side. We'll just kind of peel around. We do kind of have to make sure we stay away from, oh man, the dusk is not gonna help us at all. There is p the potential for there to be mines in here. We could hit a mine. I hope we don't, but just make a patrol of the area. We have a thousand, so you can see we have a thousand. Ah, I'm an idiot. I forgot to change the window again. Twice in one game. Okay, that looks good. You didn't miss anything. I mean, where the hell are their ships? Let's move to the bullseye exactly. All right, they can't complain. We went through the bullseye. Okay, where would I be if I was an enemy ship? Somewhere over here? I think we've already kind of patrolled over there. Let's go along the coast to the west. Because we're going to fail this mission unless we do the sink the ship. Okay, please spot somebody. Please. Where? Ah. <laughs> what a bunch of malarkey. <laughs> what? They were all over. Who passed literally right through these people? And we didn't see any of them. But that's really unfortunate. Okay, fine. Fine, Germany, fine. Take your stupid victory with your stupid stealth ships. Whatever that means. 
Oh, we did gain 100 victory points for blockading the enemy, though. The question is, where did the Germans send their battleships? Not here. Wait. Heavy cruiser. Light cruiser. Ah, they sent them down to West Africa. Interesting. Let's see if um, we have a bunch of people with stars. We do, unfortunately. So let's sort by location. Only one battleship, but not worth it. Let's just take the whole fleet and move them all back home. Actually, yeah, yeah. Well, come on, maybe we can... Let's do it this way. <laughs> let's send in reinforcements. Let's send this guy to Northern Europe and send this star unit back to the East Coast. So that way we keep up our presence in Northern Europe. And we still maintain battleship presence in our other colonies. So this guy's finally in Southeast Asia and raiding, but um, I mean, I think they do have a colony there, right? They do. No luck yet. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. So let's hope things turn... Oh, good. So because of Southeast Asia's... We're heavy, we are have invaded one of their possessions. Oh, finally we're getting some cruisers too. And they want to do army offense stuff. I wish I knew if this actually had an impact on your ability to invade colonies, but since I don't, I'm always just going to choose only the navy can win this war. And they're still only, they're sinking our ships and we're not sinking any of theirs. I think I want the battleship from the west coast to go over and help support Southeast Asia. So let's do that. The battleship on the west coast, there, that's the one. Southeast Asia. So we have one on the east coast, which is a star. Now one of the ones in northern Europe has a star, so let's move this one back. Interesting that it's a light cruiser that has long, long range. We'll send you back to the east coast as well. And do we have any light cruisers on the East Coast? We do, but only in fair shape. Hmm. Okay, well then the battleship fleet, battleship fleet in Northern Europe is just gonna have to make do without a light cruiser for the time being. And also two of the destroyers, which look like they need to go home. We didn't gain, we didn't gain any victory points for blockade this time. Why is that? because Germany has some ships there now. Okay, but we didn't get any engagement there. Hmm. I don't know where the German ships are going. One battleship is in the Indian Ocean and one battleship is in South American East Coast. Well, maybe they're going around to the West Coast. If they're doing that, then let's move this ship not away. Let's just go ahead and move ship, return him here and hit cancel move orders. Yeah, and then close. All right, next turn. Naval budget increases. Well, you will hear no complaints here. Uh, neutral without border changes. Hmm, I'd say we can fight on, I don't care. Good, the Hawk Party, which wants war, uh, derailed the peace negotiations. Oh, and we got 14-inch guns. Not that that will be relevant. Oh, I guess when war happens, the treaty is is scrapped. Why I didn't pay attention to that earlier, I, I don't know. Because that's actually really important. That means we can build new ships with our better 14-inch weapons. They are sinking a ton south. How come I'm not sinking any ships? They're actually... Oh, no, our victory points are ahead. We are gaining victory points for the blockade every turn. Okay, that's good. And every turn we have to cycle new battleships in and out, but that's fine. We will keep doing that because the blockade victory is apparently the way to go. And the Chattanooga, that's, she's still recovering. So that means we'll only have one battleship. Oh no, this one can cycle back in. Okay, New Jersey, move back to Northern Europe. And we had light cruisers on the East Coast. Nope, none of them are really available. I think I'm going to move one of the light cruisers over anyway, even though they're only in fair shape. So we'll get the Des Moines to move over. It'd be nice to have at least one in Northern Europe. And under the same kind of reasoning, I think I'll send the Galveston 
to the Mediterranean. No, I'll send it to West Africa. And I'm going to set her on rating. Yeah. Which eventually the Des Moines, I think, eh, yeah, we'll set her to rating as well. Since the battleships aren't rating, we'll set the light cruisers to rating in those various places. So now we should have, uh, obviously, rating in the, Car the Caribbean or the Caribbean is not going to be very effective because Germany doesn't have any colonies there. And the colonies do kind of move in a way where they can go from one of their areas to another. But I still do need the light cruiser in the Caribbean as like a defensive unit. So we'll leave it just in case it happens to pick up one or two enemy ships. Good, and our cruiser. Ah, uh, that's going to give them a lot of victory points. More shell damage. And now we're finally starting to sink ships, thank goodness. Three, one, three more. Fantastic, another one, up to eight. Eight versus one, all right. Now I can, now I'm starting to be happy with this. Well, we're not getting victory points, it looks like, if I look at the log messages. We're not getting victory points for being in Northern Europe, blockading them anymore. So it might be just about the time to move everyone back from Northern Europe, including this raider, because for some reason he's already almost out of steam. So we'll leave the Galveston, who's trying to go to West Africa. That's fine. She can keep going. But everyone else, we will return to North America, uh, East Coast. Good. I thought I had two battle. Oh, I see. They're out of order. Okay. Now we go to location and then type. And good. So West Coast still. Let's see what the Germans ended up doing with that one battleship. I guess it's over here. A battleship and a heavy cruiser in Northeast Asia. And only a heavy cruiser and a light cruiser are here. So we... Ah... It does make me want to have the battleship over here in Southeast Asia, but I don't want them to evade any of my West Coast colonies. And I think we have a sufficient force here to prevent them from invading us. I don't think we need that many forces here, but it's fine, a defensive battleship. I mean, with the treaty off, I should be considering... I don't have so high of a monthly budget, but I should be considering building new ships. 1907 is about the time I, I like to start the next round of ships, so for now let's push on. Uh, I don't like hardship to the population, so let's strike a balance. Oh, our unrest level is zero. Yeah, I guess we can go up to an unrest level of one. That seems okay with me. Oh my god, uh, this is very good. So right now we're using the protected cruiser armor configuration, which is really not good. And this allows us to use better armor on the light cruisers. I'll showcase that in a second. All right, two. And they intercepted a raider. Okay, well, we can probably do this very quickly as well. If it's another heavy cruiser, light cruiser thing, we just run away, right? So, okay, let's just, uh, I'm actually gonna turn on the endurance range. Do we have huge endurance? Is mass, it's more. Larger than I can see. There, yeah, okay, so we can definitely do whatever we want. We're not gonna run out of fuel. And we'll turn off the division name because it's not important. Okay, advance turn, advance turn, advance turn, sight an enemy, now, good. Oh, pretty close. All right, so go to max speed. Uh, unfortunately, the wind is going to be against us no matter what we're doing. Our nearest port is north. So, how do I try to get them on the opposite wind side? I guess the fact of the matter is, the wind is not going to be important. If their ship is a light cruiser, we'll probably stand to win, because I think our light cruisers are just really, really overpowered compared to normal light cruisers. And if it's not a light cruiser, it's a, if it's a heavy cruiser, we're just going to retreat anyway. So the wind doesn't really matter. Let's go down this way though, just because that'll put, a, it'll be easier for us to run away if it's a heavy cruiser, as I imagine it is. Oh, okay, so it's gonna be a light cruiser, I guess.
That's very interesting. <laughs> the stealth ship. It's all black. Um, one inch belt, two inch turrets, ten five inch weapons. Yeah. We will gladly make a run at this guy. And I will gladly ignore... Oh! I'm two ships. That is interesting. And one is a gazelle class, which I think has the six inch guns. No, it has... Oh. Heavier armor, but less weapons, less speed. These are both actually pretty not good light cruisers, I would say. Let's go ahead and do it. We will face, unfortunately, a bit of a wind penalty. But we're I th I'm just going to hope that our central firing is better than their, I assume, not central firing. Why did I not look at that? I don't know whether they're using central firing or not for either of these cases. Hmm. It's unfortunate. I'm just going to assume that we're on central firing and they're not, and hope that our 6-inch guns can do some work. And let's actually try to close the distance, even though that's going to help their weapons, I think. Um, I It'll slightly nullify the wind. Actually, the further left I go, the less the wind is effective. Okay, let's keep going further this way then and slow down, which will hopefully cause us all to pivot this way. And if they aren't north of me, then we're in good shape. They've straddled me, but nothing so far, no action. Let's see how my guns are doing. Good, our coup quality is high, because this is the Chicago, the one who won the shooting competition. And I think she was already elite, so that's helpful. We have a very good rate of fire. I keep waiting for us to hit. I mean, central firing, wow, so they hit us. That's spectacular. Don't think it did any damage, though. Looks like we're at 0% still. Good. Okay, let's slow down a little bit more. I think we'll double back, even. Uh, that's not good. Turn into them? Yes, this would work. This will work. And our torpedoes will be in range, and I think we have to just be going under 22 knots to fire torpedoes. Main gun crews cut down by splinters. Oh, that doesn't sound good. All right, we're hitting them. They're hitting us. <laughs> Was this the right decision? I don't think so anymore, but we did hit them. The Hela, is that the one with the heavy armor or not? See, their, light, their armor is so light that I think our 6-inch should penetrate. This might be the right decision. And this is our torpedo range, too, so we are in range to fire torpedoes. I don't know why we aren't, in fact, because, I mean, they're close enough, and they're right next to each other, so if we miss one, we might as well hit, we might just hit the other. And now the wind is actually going to be working against them and not me. And we're hitting them a whole bunch anyway. A lot, a lot, a lot. That might be even heavy damage. It is. One more, I think, another hit. Let's make sure we sink her before we switch over to the gazelle. It looks like we're switching over to the gazelle already. Another hit, but it's the belt extended, so nothing too important over by the extended belt area. We hit the gazelle. We hit the gazelle twice more. Now the gazelle has slightly higher armor. Basically the same as us. Two, one and a half, and two, two one, Oh, this is the old model, so we only have 2-inch um, turret guns on this. That's why the splinters probably hit us. But at least our conning tower is really strong. Okay, good. We're actually going to be putting them wind side now. Now let's pursue. We hit them again, the gazelle class. We could definitely finish off this Gila whenever things slow down. So let's just make sure we, we try to get as much on the gazelle class as possible. You can see how much more often we're hitting with the central firing. And it's even better when you get to director, which is the next. Another hit. We're going 2v1 with two of their light cruisers and we're going to win. This is awesome. Let's switch back down to keep getting our wind advantage. Looks like they were starting to do the same thing at the exact same time. We can even try to finish off the Gila with a, a torpedo because she's moving pretty slow, which means it'll be really hard for her to avoid fire. Now we're hitting the Gila. 
It's perfectly fine with me. I think we did some decent damage to the gazelle already. Let's go to squad max. As far as I remember, oh yes, the gazelle is slower, so we'll be able to catch up to her. So no, don't go squad max. Go just 21. We'll catch up with the gazelle eventually. Let's make sure the Gila's really, really dead. And by the way, Chicago, feel free to fire a torpedo at any time here. Oh, she's on fire. Sinking. Okay, switch switch over to the gazelle. And squad max. Now, please switch over to the gazelle. Good. Yes. Fantastic. The heal is already sinking, so we're not worried about her. Yes, good. Okay. On to the gazelle. Because it says that this one is sinking... It's heavy fire, it's on damage. I mean, even if she doesn't sink, it's, I would say, good enough. We can come back and try to get here later. They hit our belt. I don't know what the star means, though. Maybe nothing happened? Doesn't look like anything happened. Okay, and the wind should be in our advantage. Now, let's just remember to ourselves that the Gila is moving off in like an easterly direction from this location, but she's only going five knots. She's probably actually sinking. Two more hits, good. Two more hits, good. Another hit. Three more hits, all right, we really dialed in the range. Three more hits again. The gazelle is heavy damage on fire, awesome. And this is what I'm talking about. My light cruisers with the six inch weapons are just far superior to the enemy ones. I think we'll even have time to go back and finish this one off for sure, for sure. It's this over here, this direction. Let's make sure we remember that. Hit again. Hit again. They're turning. We'll follow. This direction. And it will get nighttime soonish. It's almost five. We hit him again. Come on. Don't lose him now, Chicago. We got this. Let's take them both down. You'll be a national hero. We'll, we'll rename this the city of Chicago something amazing, like Windy City, for your amazing accomplishments in this um, calm weather. That kind of backfired. I was hoping there'd be some wind. Another hit. We're in torpedo range. They're definitely going really slow. Another hit. Another two hits. Sinking on fire. Well, let's not... Okay, they did hit us, but it was... When you get the shell burst limited by coal bunker, when you have uh, coal burners, the engine rooms were pretty thick because uh, core coal burning is... <laughs> it takes thick bunkers. So the burst hit those bunkers and actually they stopped this shell from penetrating. Okay, we have glare. I think we should turn... Is glare automatic? Just a time setting thing? Or is it a specific direction? It looks like it's direction independent. Wait, I saw we hit him again. Another one. Uh, probably should have focused on the other one. Other, on the, whatever her, the other name was. The Bella? Or, I forget. So this is a pretty light cruiser still. It's a light light cruiser. Three more hits, that's that's good. I wonder why we can't, can I do flotilla attack myself? Yeah, let's do that. And let's go ahead and see if we can just use a torpedo to finish it off. Oh, we, we actually took some flooding damage, but well, that's not good. Hit her again, three more hits. She's only gonna be able to fire, I think, one turret against us. Oh, well, she's still getting four, it looks like, but that's out of her 12. She's only using a third of her weapon success. Two more hits. Two more hits. And things are about to get very difficult to see. So let's make sure we do finish her off as quickly as possible. All right, she's sunk. Can we please fire a darn torpedo? I don't know why you're not firing torpedoes. 
I don't know how to encourage my unit to fire torpedoes even. Ah, it's launching torpedoes. Well, considering she's sunk in the water, let's immediately, whoops, right click on the flag and say hold fire. In fact, I'll just say hold fire for 10 minutes because by 10 minutes she'll already be sunk. Let's go to squad max and get the heck out of here. And that will put her in the water. Don't think we have to worry about her even firing at us, but let's stay clear of torpedoes. Okay, let's, we're doing hard turns. I think we should be okay avoiding torpedoes. I guess it's already been 10 minutes and we think for some reason we should actually start firing her again. Do not do that. Okay, at this point, I think there's two decisions I could make. One, I could go after the other ship or I could actually try, because I, I don't remember, I didn't like screenshot. Normally I would screenshot or write down on a pad the coordinates for the other ship and then just follow a line from the coordinates in the direction they were last traveling. It might be more effective just to stay around and pick up survivors from this light cruiser because if I never find the other one, I will get, you know, 20 to 30 victory points for picking up survivors on this light cruiser. So, what to do? Yeah, let's stay and pick up survivors. I think we've done really heavy damage and the chances of us finding the other ship in this kind of, um, at night is just really small. So let's go back down to 14 and just wait for this ship to sink. So let's go to normal fast mode. Wait for her to sink. We think she's a battleship. She's clearly not a battleship. Oh, she sunk. Okay, good. Can we pick up uh, some crew now? Do you need destroyers? Maybe only destroyers can pick up crew. I mean, tch. we'll just keep circling her for a little bit. does not seem like we're able to pick up crew. I'm effectively picking up crew. I mean, if we're not, we're driving over them and kill killing them. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Well, this is not good. Oh, well, I think with the, this says this dropped. Is it because the other one is escaping? I don't know. But we will soon be done with this which definitely needs to bring this episode to a close. Good. All right, so the other one did get away with only heavy, heavy damage, but you can see how important it is to actually sink a ship. Very important, 7,000, and we only did, no, the Hela, Hela. 3,000 to her, she'll be, I, I really wish we would have sunk her though. We should have sunk her and then gone after the gazelle, but I thought we had done enough. I really, I really did think we had done enough. The difference between sinking a ship and just doing heavy damage is enormous. Because the heavy damage just takes them out of action for two turns or so. But, I mean, that's... They still have the ship. They don't have to build a whole new one. And light cruisers just take, what, like 15 months to rebuild? But that's fine. Anyways, leaving this episode, we got quite a few victory points from that. It's a really good place for us to call this episode to a close. So, if you stayed with this series this long... Um, thanks for watching. I'm going to try to get through January 15, 1915, and then I think at that point I'll reevaluate how the series is going. So we'll basically finish this war off, hopefully quickly, and then um, I want to maybe bring this tutorial series to a close around the 1915 time. And then we can maybe do another Let's Play series um, with a bigger number of ships. Until then, thanks for watching, and take care.